fiction, science fiction, horror, fantasy, crime, LGBT, thriller. You have now entered the house of mystery with your hosts, Eric Shapiro, David North Martino. John Copenhaver and Al Warren. Heard on KCP 106.5 FM Los Angeles. 102.3 FM Riverside. And 105.0 AM Palm Springs. Well, Mark Pritchard, uh, he's here. Uh, he's on the phone. So how are you doing, Mark? Yes. I'm doing really well. How are you doing? I'm delicious. Um... Yeah. They, they, so, so Mark, tell yeah. us. Let's tell just tell the listeners uh, a little bit about yourself, wh- where you came from, and how you got into uh, ghost hunting and paranormal. Yeah, well, my, my name's Mark Pritchard. I've been um, obviously doing, obviously been into the paranormal and all things ghostly uh, ever since a very, very young age. Um, basically, the reason why I'm so fascinated uh, with the subject itself is because. I actually had an experience when I was very, very young at, uh, at my family home. Um, I can remember it as clear as day, uh, as if it happened yesterday. Um, I was in bed uh, in my house. Uh, I was wide awake. Uh, I was staring at the wall, and I just heard this lady's voice um, saying Lady Jane. Uh, and it was very, very silent at the time. Uh, and then suddenly um, it just started to get louder and louder. And I was kind of poking myself as well at the time when it was happening. But, um, but I was wide awake and, um, and I literally, it just got louder and louder and louder. And it, to the point where I didn't really want to turn around in bed. Uh, and the voice was right next to me and I was too scared to turn around. And, and that was it pretty much that really uh spooked me and and scared me at the time i mean i must have been around about 10 or 11 years old at that time um but it was it, it, it was very scary and and that was the reasons why i really got into the paranormal and that uh, how old were you at that time mark remind me sorry how old would you have been at that time? I would have been i would have been around about i think i was around nine or ten years old so yeah so how, what did, how did you make sense of that at the time? Who did you speak to and try and understand that? Um, I, didn't, I, didn't really, I, I didn't really speak to anyone because, um, I mean, pr- previously to, uh, to when that actually happened, I, I'd, hear, I'd hear voices, but I wasn't sure what the voices were. So it, it was kind of strange. And I'd see things as well. I, I'd see things in the corner of my eye and stuff. Uh, even when I was just generally just playing on my own uh, in certain areas and stuff like that, um, and at the time, I just found it. Str- it didn't. It didn't really scare me. It was just a thing that was kind of. I just wondered what it was. It was crazy. Mm. So, did you? If you'd already started hearing voices, etc., would you say you're um, you're you're quite spiritual yourself? You're, you're a medium or. I, I, I wouldn't say it, it, it's quite because I mean I've obviously been in, I've obviously gone more into the paranormal uh, the past three years. Um, I've actually obviously went on public ghost hunts um, and stuff because I I just thought to myself one day I thought right you know this is something that I'm that I'm really into. Um, I would love to go and obviously go and do a ghost hunt and see what it's all about. Uh, I went on the public ghost hunt and um, and yeah I, I thoroughly enjoyed it but but it it kind of I don't know. It was kind of something that, that I've always wanted to do and uh, always wanted to try, and I've always been fascinated about it. And obviously, seeing uh, a lot of the TV programs, obviously back, you know, uh, obviously when certain programs in the UK aired uh, about ghosts and stuff, yeah, it, it was more of a thing where I thought, well, okay, you know, let me go and try it for myself. And um, and, and I've experienced um, quite a lot since I've been doing it. And it's okay to mention those programs um, actually on 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 the show. Um, All right, so what yeah. Was in, what was the most influential? Um, the most influential program was obviously Most Haunted. I think it was it started back in two thousand and two. Um, 
and then uh, obviously I, I I saw this this program and came onto TV and I thought I thought to myself wow you know I was absolutely I was blown away by it because um, obviously I think you know the first ever episode that they did which was at Mitchell and Priory um, in the UK and uh, and I and I just thought wow you know they they picked up on so much um, things and I mean you know as I was growing up as I was growing up in the area into in, into my like obviously from that experience that I had and, and when I reached my like twenties, uh, I used to go out with a lot of friends. We used to go out at night. We used to, you know, we used to go to a, a place called Whitley Court, uh, which is based in Worcester in, in the UK, uh, which is now derelict. So there was a f- great fire there. Uh, we used to go there quite a lot, you know, as friends do. Um, and I did, I, I did again, experience, uh, a lot of things there at this place. Um, yeah, it's just, it just stemmed from there. And there's obviously there was a great there was a great hall there, and there's a, there's some steps that lead up to the hall. And uh, I was with about four or five friends at the time, uh, and we basically heard for about five seconds. Uh, we heard that sounded like a dinner party uh, was going on, which was mm. which was crazy. We, yeah, we all looked at each other and thought, and we all heard it, but there was no one else around the place because because we actually looked around and checked. So again. It's it's obviously the small things like that, which which I just find absolutely fascinating about the subject. So when you first, um, what age would you have been when you first started doing some investigations? Um, I, it was it was quite late. It, it was it was quite late. You know, the proper, doing proper investigations, I'd, I'd say about three years ago. So I, I'm relatively obviously new to it, new to it all. Mm. But a lot of the investigations that I've been on, um. A lot seems to happen. Um, you know, I, I, I tend to obviously hear things and, and you know, maybe, it's, maybe, there's, maybe there is something that I've got that I don't realise um, that I've got because um, only a few months ago I was at Craig and Oss uh, in, in Wales. I don't know whether you're familiar with the place. but um, Yes, very. But I, but I actually had a go at uh, psychometry. Um, and I, I I know two two obviously two mediums, um, and they obviously they said well Mark they they seem to to feel as though that I have got some sort of uh, ability where I can obviously uh, pick up on things, and I thought well okay uh, I'll give it a go I'll I'll give it an actual try and um, one of the ladies that were there they they had a ring or she had a ring and she gave me the ring and I held the ring in my hand and I just closed my eyes and the, and the medium said obviously concentrate on the item that you're holding in your hand uh, and then I suddenly started to feel uh, that I was getting messages or messages were coming through but there were only one sentence messages um, and I was saying uh, things were coming to me one of them for instance was, was, was blue bells um, it was just obviously small things like that were coming through um, and obviously this, this happened for about like 10 minutes or so uh, and then, well, obviously, when I stopped doing it, the, the lady obviously told me uh, of, of the things that I was coming out with. Uh, and she said bluebells w- were were quite, you know, were an actual thing that, that she thought, well, because her, her, her actual brother died in a car crash. Uh, and they right. buried, or, and, and they had uh, bluebell flowers, uh, which I thought was quite strange. So uh, a lot of the information that I was given were actually true, uh, which I found, which was quite amazing, really, to, to, you know, to be honest with you. So, how do you remain impartial when you're, you're when you're doing an investigation, knowing that you pick up on some of those things? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just um, it's just obviously the the general feelings um, that, that that I get. I feel that obviously, oh yeah, when I'm on a, when I'm in actual investigation somewhere, um, I actually. Um, can actually pick up things of obviously when things are going to happen moments before they do, and they and they and they kind of do. It's it's really really hard to explain. I obviously get a, a, a feeling or an overwhelming feeling that comes to me, uh, and then when I feel that, I feel as though you know the energy levels or my energy levels are, are very high, and the people that are around me are very high, and then, and then and we do tend to get quite a lot of activity happen. So yeah, it's. I, I don't know. Maybe it's something that I that I don't realise that I've got or, or that ability. It's strange. 
So in, in terms of your early experiences, did you ever work out who it was that was um, trying to communicate with you? <sighs> I didn't actually. I, I didn't. I didn't kind of like work out who. I know it was an, it, it was a lady's voice. Um, I know it was a lady's voice uh, at the time. But um, but I mean, the house where I used to live at uh, with my parents. I mean, it, it was a it was a very old cottage at the time uh, in in a, in a small village. Um, and it was it was a very old cottage because my family had it off their parents. And I mean, I mean yeah, we're talking. You know, hundred years old uh, place mm. where it was but um but i don't know i don't know i've never really looked into that side of the history of it i mean uh to this day i, I would absolutely love to find out uh if 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 lady jane was some sort of person uh that that, that was local to the community or whatever i don't know or 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 she might have been a uh, yeah a family member i just don't know and um so tell, tell me a little bit, because you, you know that, um, obviously, for, for the listeners, Mark and I have spoke on, uh, on a couple of occasions previously, and we've, we've got quite different approaches to investigations. So tell me a little bit about your, um, just how much programmes like Most Haunted have influenced your present practice in investigation. <coughs> um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like in, influenced it, yeah. Uh, in a way where I think to myself, you, you know, okay, basically what I do is I, is I go to the location. I don't obviously find out any history of it because I don't really like that part of it. Um, I just rather go to the location and then just, just want just go around myself and, and just pick up and certain areas get me. I don't know. I don't know whether they do with you, but, but if, but if I go into certain areas where, of the building, I, I actually think to myself, okay, there's something not quite right here or, or I, I actually feel or I overcome like that I'm cold, I've got the chills or, or something's not basically not right uh, about the area that, that, that I'm in. But, um, mm. but, but yeah, I just, I, I just, it's, it's really, I think I get a lot of things happen. And then for me, it's just basically when things do happen, I'm just trying to find out what that is and why it's doing it and what's causing it. But yeah, you know, it's, yeah, I just find it so interesting. So, just for, for completeness, really, my, my my view is is that when when you investigate something, and that you yes. want to obtain evidence, you investigate yes. somebody else's experience, and yes. look to replicate that experience so that you can capture it and understand it. So, if you if if I was just to walk around um, and pick yes. a venue randomly and walk around. I'm not investigating another experience unless I already know it's happened. Right, so, yeah. um, so there, there's something there. I think, you know, right at the beginning of programmes such as um, and not exclusive to Most Haunted, there was a there was that kind of thrill factor with it where people would um, genuinely be scared because they had no idea what they were dealing with or the experiences or anything they may hear or see or feel. Mm. So there was a genuineness about it, a raw experience that the crew were having. And That's some right. of that would have been psychological because of our um, adrenaline and other bits will be about um, just a fear of the unknown. Yes. So, um, so thinking about... Um, our experiences now I really struggle as, as we were having a conversation only the other night about this that I really yeah. struggle with going to a venue and right. um, experiencing something and then trying to make sense of it because you haven't a starting point right yeah so, yeah. Sure, yeah. Just... so all you, what you're doing is you're opening yourself up in my view to experiences right. around you but there's, yes, you've yes. got no grounding at all, and there is absolutely nothing to relate it to to say this is no. what has actually happened. Whereas yeah. if I can say 40 years ago, there was a major scandal in this particular house because at three o'clock in the morning um, in room four, somebody stayed in a hotel room and their bedding was ripped off them and they ran down in fright. And that yeah. was recorded by the hoteliers at that time. My investigations would first of all be to talk to those people who believe they've experienced it. The yeah. second thing will be to investigate the location of the hotel and the owners at the time. And that's about electrics, pipes, you know, plumbing, everything. Yeah, yeah. And only then, when I could rule out a natural cause, would I go in and do an overnight investigation. 
at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, yeah, it sounds yeah exactly. So yeah. That, that's 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 the difference, and um, and the the only that has come about over a, you know many years of investigating actually, um, because right at the beginning I had my own paranormal group and we were doing much the same as most haunted, and then when you right. think about actually what you are doing, it just seems a bit crazy. Yeah. But that's my view. So okay. um come back at me, Mark. Tell tell me why my view may not be right or No, I mean it's it's uh it's I mean most I mean the only reason I mean the, obviously the public the public events that I go on is obviously hosted by obviously of the groups and stuff. But but there are obviously uh, times where I've, where I've had investigations where I've done myself. We only we only did one um, not so actually not so long ago about a year, about a year ago, uh, mm-hmm. and that was at the Valiant Soldier. And that was a 1960s pub. Now this this place was obviously it was like stepping back in time. Basically, uh, the pub shut uh, in the late 60s, um, and, it, and it's only a very small. It's obviously a museum now. It's obviously been left uh, as it was. And the gr- the great thing about um, the Valiant Soldier was, is, is um, because because of its age and stuff, uh, there was me. Uh, there was about five other investigators, and again, we obviously went in there. Um, we obviously took all of our equipment, equipment and stuff in. Um, didn't read too much too much into the actual location itself, but um, but but we did obviously know that there was a lady that obviously died you know, within the house that actually owns the pub itself. Mm. So, um, and I, I, you know, I, and again, it was you know we, we didn't really get too much on, on that, but but we but we did obviously set up some experiments and stuff like that. But but I, I can understand um, obviously where you're coming from with with, with the way that you um, approach um, you know obviously paranormal investigations, which is which is mm. really at the end of the day the what the you know, the way you should um, obviously uh, go about it is obviously finding out the history and finding out if there was somebody that did take their own lives uh, you know, and stuff like that. I think it's, um, it's, 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 it's more about the purposes as well, as I think, isn't it, about why you're doing yeah. it. So if we're yeah. looking at doing it because um, we want to obtain evidence, then, that's, um, then you have to do it in a structured and methodical way in order to be able to do that. So there, there are many, many groups around, aren't there, that just that, that take sixty, seventy people out to do an investigation. Oh, I know. Yes, yeah, which they is do. Just yeah. bizarre. It's, yeah. um, it's <laughs> absolutely crazy stuff. But I, but I, I think the um, people buy into it because of the fear factor. It's no different than going on a, a roller coaster. Mm, that's right. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're yeah, just I waiting for something unexpected to happen to you that's going to hit the pleasure center of the brain. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, um, it's right. yeah, it's true. So, so for for me, I'm 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 really quite finicky now going forward as to who I'll investigate with and what I'll do because so many people still go around shouting out, "Is there anybody there?" That mm, um, right. there's don't get me wrong, there is a there is a um, there's a role for that. There's there's definitely a, a place for that in an investigation at the right time, but yes. when it's just a bit random and ad hoc, I just I just think it's you know, I'm not getting any younger, Mark, to be honest. And I think if I'm no, up, I, I want to do it properly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, no, no it's, it is. That's right. Yeah, you've definitely got. You've definitely got. A, you know, a, a, a really, a really good point of uh, of going about it is actually finding out, um, yeah, obviously, people's experiences and, and trying to experience them yourself. You know, and it's and I, I'm finding nowadays as well. Um, obviously, a lot of the investigations that I go on, Julie, is that. Um, a lot of places now have been really, really over investigated, haven't they? I think yes. um, it, it's finding it's finding the right places, isn't it? I mean, there are a lot of places around, um, but you know, um, and, it, and the other thing is, a lot of the places are obviously being knocked down and stuff like that, which, which I think mm-hmm. is, is, is a great shame because uh, a lot of these buildings are a part of our history, um, and and you know, I could. It, yeah, it's just a shame to actually see it happen, um, and it may, maybe you know a lot of these places that, that that you could go on a ghost investigations in. Uh, maybe you know uh, if to obviously keep the upkeep of the building and stuff like that. Obviously, ghost hunting probably would mm. help, but 
but but like you said, yeah, I mean, investigations, like you say, have to be done um, properly and um, obviously, uh, you know, um, in that sort of way. I, that, that's that's the way I see it. Do you think that's the difference between um, a ghost hunt and a paranormal investigation? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, I've, obviously, uh, what, you know, when you go on a ghost hunt, it, like you say, a lot of people. Um, obviously think that yeah let, let's just go out and see and see what we can get uh when, you know when we go to these investigations paranormal investigator yes you know you you'd obviously go down that that route of of finding out um people's obviously um you know th- things towards that so so yeah yeah I'm, I'm a total believer on that so mark you you have um a facebook live um following i do yes yeah. yes i do Yep. And you, you cover, you know, you interview many people. I've, I've been on your show, and um, yeah. and a lot yeah. of people have, um, you know, various mm-hmm. different views. As a, as an interviewer, with your own set of views, like the same as I'm doing now, I've got my own views and I'm sharing them openly. But I'm open yeah. to others. Yeah, yeah. How, how, what, what's been the most unusual view that you've heard from somebody? The one that's made you think, oh my word, that's absolutely madness. Um, yeah, I mean, I could say, I could say, and, and there has, there has been a couple, um, that I have interviewed, uh, on, on my show and recently, um, I have seen things that, that, are, that have happened and it, it's quite, it's quite shocking and it's a real shame as well, um, to actually see it happen because it's making a kind of mockery out of what we're trying to do and what we're trying to, uh, achieve. And that's obviously getting, getting the evidence that, that ghosts, and spirits um do exist and mm. to see it happen and to see it happen obviously it, it is it, it, it's really upsetting isn't it yeah i think it's it's, yeah. it's upsetting to have people so misinformed but it's also opens me up to query whether or not there is a higher proportion of um individuals who want escapism mm. Yeah, true. This, where it, where things it? are unsettled elsewhere, and, and maybe this is more about escapism than it is about investigating and understanding. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, very true. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Um, I can see be- that. Because some people seem seem to be so vulnerable, don't they? Um, they do. They they do. You know, we Al and I have interviewed people um, who genuinely we we have had conversations about the moral integrity of what we're doing. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. You know, 10 minutes into the interview and it's be- it's because you don't want to you don't want to put people out there um, in a negative no. way you don't you don't want people vulnerable you don't want people to get no. the backlash that, that can, can happen mm. with these these interviews you want people yeah. to present well and, and present their views across you know strongly that's right um yeah but with with some some level of um integrity really and, and some people just mm. just they, they don't. They're not able to um, exhibit that. No, no, and you know, don't get yeah, don't get me wrong. I mean, the, the, you know, the, there's a lot of interviews um, that, that I've done, especially with mediums and stuff. I'm just fascinated about how how it started, you know, for them. And I, and I, and I think that's a good thing to get across um, mm. to people because because, like you say, you know, um, with a lot of um, ghost programs that you know that we see on TV and stuff like that. It's kind of you know they they have to make things happen if you see what I mean, don't they? To actually yes, get yeah. to get the viewings and stuff. Whereas mm. when you're when you're on a, a one-on-one interview with someone or or, or someone who's, who's actually got um, mediumship skills and stuff like that, uh, I, that I think generates more interest because it, it's true and it's raw and it's it's their story and they're telling you how how they became what they are. Do, do, you, know, do, do, do you see yeah. what I mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I find that um, I find it I find it really fascinating as well. So yeah, it's great. And, and what part of the um, what part of the world of the paranormal interests you the most, apart from the mediumship side? Oh, that's just, that's quite a good one. <laughs> um, it's it's just obviously seeing seeing things that that that, that happen at, at the time and when they and when they catch these things, you know. Um, I'm very much into um, obviously the audibles, uh, EVPs. Um, I find it, you know, or, you know, when I hear these things myself, um, mm. I find it quite incredible. 
and sometimes other things like 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 full apparitions as well. It's got to be the ultimate if if someone does um, obviously capture something or a shadow of a person or uh, and I find that fascinating as uh, as well, you know. And um, I think it's great. And obviously, when things move as well, uh, I, I don't know whether have you personally seen something move in a room that you've been in, Julie? Or, or yes, not? yeah, I have. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it just it, it kind of you know it makes you hold your head and think, oh, how did how did that happen? And then, and then you try and go over and and think what could what could have possibly moved this item, uh, and then when you find mm-hmm. out that uh, okay, all right, may, maybe something other than what we can't see moved it. It's um, yeah, I just find it fascinating. It's um, if it's done properly. It's 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 great. Um, yes. I think when when you see things on telly, I I wouldn't I wouldn't touch it for evidence. Um, no. And what's interesting now is there uh, that some of many of actually because we Alan and I were talking about this before we spoke that many of the the pop well the popular um, era for paranormal yes. programs has passed, and there's um, and now they're moving quite quickly a lot of them actually not just the one popular one but quite a lot of them are moving to online yes that's right yeah because, they are aren't because they, yeah. they don't have the buy-in anymore because they've kind of outdone it they um, haven't they yes and it's the same format time and time again and Al was saying that the um the american show taps is coming back shortly in, in the u.s and oh, okay. it's hard to see what how different that would be yeah yeah I mean, I, I mean, another thing as well, uh, Julia. I don't know whether you found. I mean, there is a lot of stuff um, that I'm seeing as well. That's um, obviously scientific. You know, yeah, with, with, with actually all the equipment that you can get. I mean, there, there is so much equipment that you can get now um, through uh, obviously ghost hunting and stuff. And I, I think, and I've always thought, and I've always liked this thought, is that the best equipment for um, for, for if you're trying to do an investigation it is yourself, isn't it? But don't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. I don't agree with anything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? I mean, you're the main, you're the main thing. You know, you can hear things, you can smell things, you can see things. You know, it's it, yeah. Whereas, you know, I mean, there are a lot of uh, a lot of equipment things that are out there that I kind of think to myself, well, okay, you know, um, I don't know whether you're. Uh, have you seen the? Is it the, the actual connect where you see the stick people come on on, on the screen and stuff like that? I'm not no, convinced I'm about that. that. I'm not convinced about that either because, I mean, it could be picking up on things, especially if they're in a room, uh, there might be a, a, like a wire sticking out and then that might obviously show you a picture of, of a stick man or someone stood there. So, yeah, I'm not, not really convinced by those kind of um, connect things that, that, that I've seen on, you know, on these programmes. But, um, but yeah, as, as, oh, yeah, going back to yourself, I think you are the main... You know, you can feel things. Uh, I've been touched in the past. I've been touched mm-hmm. by unseen things. So, you know, it's uh, I've smelt things as well and, and heard things as well myself when, I'm, when I've been in myself. So it's kind of, yeah, I think, I think you are the best tool for, you know, for, for actually going out and doing, a, doing an investigation. I think when you... It's, it, people corroborate each other, don't they? And, um, and there's dangers in that, don't get me wrong, because um, we know that we can, if we are close to somebody or we provide the right um, verbal guidance, one person, you, you can touch one person and the other person will feel like they've been touched. We, we know that that can mm. be manipulated. But um, yes. in, terms of, in terms of the gadgets, you know, people running around with EVP meters, um, you know, yes. I, I get it. I understand it, and I, I've never yet heard anything that I've been able to listen to and say the word and then open a sealed envelope and the same words in it. That's right, um, yes, yeah. You know, we hear what we want to hear. So when somebody says, that sounds like death, oh, yes, it does. If I'd have said it mm. sounds like beach, they would have said, yes, it does. So exactly, um, yeah. I, I'm still yet to hear a good EVP. Um, when okay. people run around with... Um, um, oh, what to call them? Um, the lights are um, the, the names that actually gone from my, my whole. Yeah. Oh, what are they called? Um, well, the lights flash when there's electromagnetic energy. 
And so when they run K2 meters, so when they run around yeah. with their K2 meter and say, look, look, and they stood underneath an electric source. That's right, and, yes, yeah. You know, you, and, it, and even, even when you're in a, um, in an absolute desolate building and there's 10 people with a K2 meter, our bodies yeah. give off those energy as well. So, right, yeah, that's it. So, yeah. For, so to go around with that, which has never been designed for that, it's not a ghost hunting gadget. It's, no. um, it's something that picks up electro, um, ele electric energy, uh, for want of yeah. a better phrase, because I'm not a scientist or electrician. Yeah. But, you know, basically, I could use that to go and find plugs in the house. Not, that's right, it's, yeah. it's not a ghost machine. No, um, no. What the, the one thing I do like is I do like the randomness of the um, uh, and, and again this, um, this the name is gone after a busy day at work but the um, <laughs> yeah. the box that does the radio the radio waves yeah. I, I I like that because I think it's fascinating yeah. and I don't understand yeah. it and I don't no. understand how the coincidences happen but that's yeah. as far as it goes. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, it's the SB7 spirit box, I think it is, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, it, obviously it picks up on, on radio. Right? Now, I've seen these things in, in action firsthand, and I don't, I don't know because I know, I know that it scans through, through the radio stations and stuff like that because you can hear, obviously, music mm. and stuff come through it. But, yeah, there, yeah. There, there was, but there was one time where I was in, uh, I think it was Gloucester Prison, um, and we actually had one of these things that this SB7 spirit box going at the time. Um, and we, we heard this clear, it was clear as day as a, a, a swear word came through it. Now, I know, I think, I think you know, that you're not allowed to swear on the radio, uh, which was yes, quite, yeah. which was, which, which was, which was quite bizarre. So that kind of like swayed me again to think, okay, there might be something to this. Uh, this, this device that's being used, I don't know. Mm. But, um, but yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Again, it's, it was just fascinating to actually experience that at a time when it happened. And I think um, that I mean, I, I've I've experienced some absolutely mad events, you know, where people have gone to attack me and they're close friends of mine, where I've had my head pushed against a wall. Oh my god! I can't, I can't yeah. explain any of them other than the the the. Um, through a, a mediumship way, I, I, right, I don't. Right. And even then, um, through you know years, um, time some time ago now, but years being on stage, I would always say to people, the, the reality mm. is, I don't know why I know what I do. I couldn't. Mm. I couldn't say to you, one hundred and fifty percent, this mm. person who has died ten years ago is chatting to me right now. Because yeah. there is no medium that I've ever interviewed or I've ever come across that says, mm. I hear their voice, I know everything about them, I know what they're saying, I can see them in front of me. Most mediums mm. you, you, you come across, and I'm sure there are some, so you know, I, I'll apologise to those people who do, do get information that way. But yeah. from what I know, 90% of people will tell you the information you receive is like a thought it's a You're knowing. Right, yeah. You know it. So yeah. I know the information. I don't necessarily hear it the way that you and I are hearing each other now. I may right. not see it in the same way as I'm looking at a screen. I, I, I know what it looks like because I know. There are yeah. the odd occasions that I will bump into somebody or see something that I right. know not to be there in a human form. Right. But for me to go on stage and say, I know I am talking to dead Uncle Fred, who's, who passed away 10 years ago, I couldn't ever, and I never have said that. No. Ah. Okay. Because I just know I get the information. So, um, so I know my head was hit against the wall, and I know that I didn't do it. Yeah, I know yeah. that I picked up on and I knew names in that location that were really okay. important. And when we researched it, could be validated. Right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, oh, wow. I know that stuff. It's not that I'm hearing it. Mm, yeah. So, wow. so I cannot say that as a medium, when I can give very good readings, I can remote view, I can do... Um, God, I, 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 the only thing I don't really do is tarot and angel cards because I don't... I'm, I'm, oh, I'm not, okay. I'm not really no, part no. of that, really. 
but I'm yeah. very good with, with um, something that belongs to somebody or jewelry or anything of that nature. Yeah. So, oh, um, wow. because I know, I know it. I don't know how I know it. I know yeah. I have something that I see and I hear in my mind's eye that I could communicate with, which is yeah. what I call, for ease of everybody, my spirit guide. Yeah. Do I yeah. know him to be a spirit guide? No. It's, it's a name no, I can give to him because it explains yeah. to people what it is. Yes. It makes yeah. it easier for people. So it's, um, so it's, it's, I'm, I'm not sure how many people really, and I don't know of any other medium that goes up on stage and goes, look, right, let's cut to the chase. There is absolutely no evidence out there that these people no. really are called spirit guides. And there yeah. is absolutely no evidence out there that we are talking to X, Y, Z. We, but there is evidence that we can obtain information from somewhere other than you or me. Yes, yes, yeah. That's great, isn't it? It's fascinating, yeah, it's fascinating stuff. What, what, it's, what it's I do want to ask, it, it almost does it's, me out of a job, really. I bet it's, it does, I bet it does. That's the reality. Yes, that's right, yes, yeah. Why well, I did want to ask you, Julie, and I don't know whether I did ask yeah. you or, 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 or when I actually interviewed you, but have you, have you always had this gift and, and, and has recent, fa has family members, uh, like, like say, your, uh, your mum or, or your mum's mum, have, have, they, have they ever had this gift? Um, okay, so, um, yeah, I think I probably have always had it. But okay. if we were to if we were to use simplistic terminology, so um, let's just say, for example, we go along the the route of the spirit guide is out there, and the spirit guide will have already identified that they're going to be your guide, and you're going to be able to do this before you were born, and mm. they will only make themselves known to you at a certain time when you're ready for it. Um, yeah. So if we go al along with that particular hypothesis. I was, um, I could see a black cat when I was really small. And I would look at the black cat and I would be able to, if I carried on looking ahead of me, the black cat would walk to my side and it would go out of my peripheral vision. And if I turned to look at it, it wouldn't be there. Yeah. And that was regular. My mum used to look for it for ever and a day. Now, the weird okay. thing is that my mum never used to question looking for the cat. And we had two ginger cats and this was a black cat. Right. So, um, and even today, I've not actually felt a need to have that conversation with her as to, to why she didn't really question it. She just went looking for this cat and she, and she really yeah, did the prick yeah. letter most nights. Um, oh. So my, I, and in terms of the family thing, my, um, on my granddad's side, so quite, yes. you're talking distant now, I think it was his sister could read jewellery. And members oh, right. of my okay. family used to send her jewellery to read. I didn't know her, yeah. but, but apparently she, she, that's what she did. Oh, okay. And okay. I'm, I'm quite yeah. good at that. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So I, I can pick up an item that belongs to somebody quite quickly and give them information about either who they are or their attributes, their things that they may have been through, things that the, that, yeah. that, mem that item has been through. So I, I, recently, I think I might have told you, I, I read the doll yeah. that was um, a friend's doll. It looked like Reggie Chucky. It was a horrible thing. Um, oh, right, okay. <laughs> and I, and I, I still maintain it was, it was an ugly thing. And, um, yeah, one of my best friends, actually, and part of my, my paranormal team has, has got this doll in her possession. Mm. I think she should bin it. But um, right. she, it, it actually, it, it, was, it, was, it was from the gas chambers in Germany. Oh, wow. Um, and it had been given to a little girl by a, um, a German soldier before okay. she was gassed. Right. So, um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I read yeah. and, I, and I got the history of the doll, which was accurate. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Does that answer your question a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, it does, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it does. It's, um, yeah. It's, it's only when I was older that I, um, okay. I realised that I could not only... Um, you know, obviously, I, would, I wasn't seeing the black cat when I was older. That kind of passed. Yeah. And it was then that I suddenly realized that I was knowing things about situations that I couldn't really put my finger on. I didn't yeah. understand how and why I came across the information. And I was having a few experiences, some paranormal experiences in the house. 
Mm. And um, and then really, really bizarrely, I moved house. It was at quite a traumatic time in my life. And I moved house and I lived up this very remote farm lane to the cottage, about a quarter of a mile from the road. Bendy, you couldn't see the house from the road. And mm. I'd only been living there about a, a matter of days. And, and two people walked up this hill to my house and they knocked on the door and I opened it. And it was a vicar and another lady. And uh, I said, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm probably, I'm not really religious, but I'm probably airing more on the spiritual side. And um, she said, yes, I know, because you're a medium and I'd like to do your PA work. Oh. And I'd never met her oh, wow. <laughs> before in my life. And she and she wow. did. She um she started my stage stuff for me. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh really? Yeah. And then about six yeah. months later, I was in a dressing room in Ludlow okay. with um, yeah. and I was I was on at the assembly rooms, and on the next stage was Lee Evans, the comedian, and there was myself, Lee, oh, yeah, and yeah. this 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 woman, Juliana, and we we all just sat in the dressing yeah. room together, thinking, well, this is odd. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So and yeah. then it went from there, really. So. So obviously, Julie. Obviously, when you when you do read um obviously people's items and that, can it can it get quite emotional for you? Do you do you feel the emotion that that's involved w w you know within that item that you're holding at at that time? Um, Does it get to that stage? I can do. I can do, but it's not my emotion. So um so I I may I may become teary, and I may yes. know that it's sadness. But I wouldn't be um, uncontrollably sad like I might be if that was my own experience. Mm. So okay. I can say to somebody, these aren't my tears, actually. These, these yeah. are not for me. Um, they, they're just there. They're a symptom of. Uh, the okay. same way as you feel if somebody's been hanged or they've, they've committed suicide, my, mm. I will feel a pull at the back of my neck. And, um, okay. and I'll feel my head tilt to the front. And so I'll know it's a hanging. Yeah, no. Okay. So you will, I will get the feelings of something, but it doesn't mean to say that that is. Um, no. Mm. Uh, I, I don't get the pain or, or the discomfort. I just know it's there. No. So I know it's uncomfortable, okay. but I don't know why or, or I don't experience no. it in the same way. Okay. What What okay. about yourself? Have you Have you You've tried that? You've tried the. Um, I, I've not. I, I've not. Thought... I've, I've obviously I've I've tried jewelry. I, I tried it at Craig Craig and Oss, um, and I was mm. just it, it actually it kind of it kind of made me think. Well, okay, may, maybe I have. I don't know. I mean, is there is there a way that I could try and uh, find out if I have got this um, or if I have got an ab uh, ability? I, I don't know. It's um, it's obviously something that I might just have to look into, or, or you know, is there a certain ways of uh, uh, of opening myself up to whatever it is so yeah so there's lots of things you can you can do actually and people depending on your beliefs depending on how how um you want to pursue it will be will be yes. pivotal really so some people go to a development okay. circle at the lo local spiritualist church it's not something i've done i have um, right. i have given um uh, done platform at the spiritualist churches. I have supported them in the past. Yes. It's not really my thing. I'm not religious, so um, I always mm. made them do the the prayer and, and the, yes, the yeah. book of hope and everything and the, the book of prayers. Okay. Um, and then I just do the the actual platform. But um, in terms of uh, it, so the development circles can be quite good because there's you know many people together and you're all learning together. And yeah. um, yeah. and the other way, I mean, there's the Arthur Finley College. You know, there's 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 lots of different routes to to learn how or develop your a psychic yeah. ability. Okay. Um, I've not done that because I haven't really needed to do it. If I'm honest, and that's not no. being arrogant, it's just because I mm. don't see a need to. Um, I was no. speaking to Ian Lawman one day, and he said that you 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 need to you need to know the ABCs. And I think that there mm. is a there is a definite value in what he was saying. Um, but yeah. for me personally, the information comes through quite quickly and clearly. So just, just um, yeah. I've given yeah. readings for people who have wanted to do, to do it, and I've um, I've allowed that you know i've sent them an image that's meaningful to me or a picture of okay. something that's meaningful and ask them to read it so yes, um yes. that's a way of doing it as well testing it out with people okay okay yeah yeah because that's, I think so, I that's an easy way yeah yeah 
Okay. Yeah, I think I think I might I might I might do it because I mean I, I have noticed you know um, the more the more investigations that I do you know the more I'm tending to feel a lot of things when I do go out on them. So so yeah, I, I think I think it'd be a good thing for me to try and do and uh, and and to try and learn to, uh, to be honest and, and see what happens. Yeah, I think you're right yeah. because yeah. it's not only about what we get; it's also about how we portray it. Because you yeah. have to stay true to the source of the information. So if yeah. you're if you're hearing or feeling something or knowing something or, or 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 seeing something in your mind's eye, describing that in its um, in its true form is so important. So even if it makes yeah. no sense to you whatsoever, it, it's not mm. meant to. It's not your no. information. So you have to be really strong in being able to say, well, this is what I've got and it makes no sense whatsoever, or it's just yeah. one word, and being mm. confident that that word will make sense to that person when they need it to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, in, in, in terms of your own bits, and you, we're hearing that you want to continue to develop because you're recognizing your own growth. What, what is next for, for Mark Pritchard, the paranormal uh, investigator. What what do you think uh, is next for you? Um, I think well, I don't. I don't what is next? I just I think obviously going abroad um, is one thing that I wanted to do. I mean, I mean, I've always wanted to go to obviously America uh, uh, and do an investigation over there because I know that there are a lot. I've I've obviously obviously had a reading off someone, uh, and it's it, it's came up several times. Um, mm -hmm. saying that I will eventually go abroad and, uh, and do investigating abroad but um, but but yeah I mean there are it, it's getting to the stage now where obviously because um, I'm, I'm based in Worcester I'm based in the southern part of England and I think I think I've pretty much done uh, all, all the locations um, that, that, are, that are meant to be haunted down south so I think it's up north uh, is probably one of the other places where I need to go because uh, I know that there are quite a few places up north um, Scotland. I've been to Scotland. I've been to, I've been to Edinburgh. Edinburgh is absolutely an amazing city. Uh, Edinburgh Vaults uh, was was uh, fantastic. I didn't do an investigation there. I just uh, I just went out for a tour and I, I did I did feel um, things there. Very strange things. I I, have you ever been, Julie? Have you ever been to the Edinburgh Vaults? No, I did Mary King Close overnight with Kieran O'Keefe. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I bet that was brilliant. So um, oh, that, that, was it, that was it was okay. It's an it's an unusual location. Um, yeah. That's probably about all I'll say. But yeah, it was yeah, yeah it's okay. unusual location. Yeah, but um, but yeah, as as a, you know, I, I think the interviews as well um, that, that that I do on Facebook it, it, it's it, it's growing. It's um, I enjoy doing it. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, the members the members enjoy obviously watching watching the lives as well. Uh, I, I have been having quite a few technical di difficulties uh, with it lately, um, but but I, won't, but I won't go too much into that. But um, but but yeah, it's just um, I don't know. It's just the the, the actual general interest um, that I've got, and maybe maybe there is new things that I want to try out. But but if there is, you know, I will do them, and I will continue to obviously do what I do, and uh, you know, and just I do it basically because. I, I'm, you know, I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy, obviously, uh, doing the video side of it as well. I, I do a lot of editing, video editing as well. It does, it does take quite a lot of time to do, but it's kind of good when I do look back on it. Um, things that I don't, didn't experience at that time, um, you know, when I do the edits, I actually experience like noisy sounds and stuff that I didn't hear when I was actually mm. there. So um, that part of it. Um, interests me as well so 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 yeah it's just it's just a thing that i've always been fascinated about and i will continue to to be fascinated by it well but mark how can how can people contact you if they want to yeah. contact you uh if, if they can contact me um the, uh, i have actually got a, a, a actual facebook page um if you go into the search engine and put mark pritchard ghost hunter uh it should it should come up uh and you, you can you can join the page um i've got a youtube channel uh the youtube channel is exactly the same uh you just punch in mark pritchard ghost hunter and it should come up on youtube and all, all my videos of, uh, of all the paranormal investigations that i've done in the past are all on there for you to view 
Well, it's fantastic. <laughs> thanks for being on the show, and uh, it's been that's a great okay. Interview. Yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been a pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure coming on, guys. To find out more about our show, guests, or to listen to past shows from our archive, please go to www.houseofmysteryradio.com. Show's over for now. Was it as good for you as it was for me? Well, good night. This has been a production of Something Weird Media. I'll be back.